So I decided to cover the part where I remove the head and the body anyway because uh, I think it's I found maybe a better way to come around this. So um, the beginning is kind of the same. Uh, we select the mesh or the, the skeleton, the dude here, uh, and export him. And I prepared a folder for him, so let's just save him. And inside 3D Max, we import him. Um, like this, and make sure we are at centimeters. Okay, so um, once imported, um, you want to um remove the top node uh, okay um deselect select children okay like this and hit delete and uh in the perspective view click alt w to get into full um screen and alt middle click to rotate him a little bit and just mouse wheel Maybe if you want, you can uh, control and middle click to pan around a little bit. And um, okay, so uh, with that, uh, let's also select um, etched faces so we can see what's going on, and then select the the mesh. So click edit editable mesh and click uh, elements. And this is where I, in the previous video, uh, selected polygon, but I think element is better, you see now. So from here, we can tilt him in maybe a little bit more. And then just select something like this and hit delete. I'm just gonna leave this one and we can click on this and control click and hit this one. And that's uh, actually what we need to do, just to get this selected. It's way easier than selecting them by polygon. So uh, with that, uh, we just export him again. And we will choose the character folder for this one, and call it uh, the body. And make sure we have FBX something maybe this one will work I know for sure and I also know for sure that the last time I checked this one didn't work so I'm gonna pick this one make sure you have inches and click OK so uh, with that exported we just give a new scene uh, make sure you check what you removed here because you want to make the opposite selection here in the next one so um, let's see save and import and import him again and remove the top node and uh, zoom in select the mesh uh, actually, we want to do something else. Um, we want to select children, select the root, and hit the little light bulb to get rid of the skeleton. So it's easier to select something here. So just select. Mm, nope, not like that. Um, we want to click this one and element and then select um, maybe that was a bit too much no i think it's good um hit delete and missed something and i think did i also remove um i think that's it Okay, so um, 
be making this one and here we go Weird. Anyway, um, let's just export them. Uh, I have it. I have initials, and we have the correct version of the FBX, and that's it. And three D Max. So let's go back to Unreal Engine and importing them. So we select the body and the head and we uh, import a skeleton, we import the mesh, we don't, uh, well, we do want to select the atom skeleton, I think, yeah, we don't want the animation and we don't want uh, materials and textures and all that stuff, import all. Um, let's double click them and see if we have uh, the correct skeleton. Looks good. Mm, sized the correct way. Also check the head. And that also looks correct. Cool. So let's plug him in instead of the base character. So we have the mesh, uh, which right now, okay, I already removed him, but he was set to. Um, was set to Adam before uh, this dude like this so now we want to go into the base character and for the mesh now replace this with the um, with the body so that will effectively look like this dude running around without any head um, okay and um, we also want to add the head uh, as another skeletal mesh to the base character. So add component, um, skeletal mesh, call this the head. And let's drag this one out and make it the parent of um, the mesh. And if this has an offset, it does, you want to zero these out. And also this one, I believe. And then here you want to select uh, for the skeleton mesh for the head. You want to select the um, head. And I think you also need to check this one. I'm not sure. Anyway, um, so uh, we also need to go to the construction script. And um, I already put this here. So we want to drag the mesh out here and from this one drag out and set master pose component. So enable that one and you want to set drag in the head as a target. That means the, the mesh is the master and the head is going to be a slave to this uh, mesh animation. Um, and the last two things we need to do is go into the adjust camera zoom uh, at the end here where we set the, the yaw and uh, and that stuff and I just took it away up here so let's just drag this one in and replace that and replace that so if we are using uh, first person view we um, just right click set on C and um, pick the, well, we pick the, the head. So that means that um, the head will not be visible if we are in first person. And also uh, you want to go to the head and type hidden and type uh, uh, enable this one hidden shadow otherwise the, the the head shadow will not be visible in first person so with that let's test this out so we have the character and um, let's see 
it looks correct. And we have the animation and that's still working. And if we come into first person, we can now look down our self and we'll notice that the head is actually gone. It's kind of hard to see, but it is actually gone. Um, and it's actually still gone. <laughs> okay, um, need to fix that. Um, wonder why that happened. Um, no idea. Anyway, uh, we wanted to check what would happen if we were in uh, in this um, cover mode. So um, right now it looks better than before. We are not totally blocking the view, but it still looks a little bit bad because because we can look down like this, and uh, because the head is tilted to the side which we can't see right now because it's it's hidden um it's still not perfect so um we still need to work with this one thing i can think of is to uh reposition the head offset so uh, it fits better um and one other thing is to make sure that we can't look down so let's see, say when we are hiding like this, we don't want to be able to look down. So um, that's something that I will take a look at in the next video. But um, just wanted to mainly cover the process of replacing the head with the um, with the well removing the, removing the head. Um, First person, so actually we need to um, see. Okay, this is actually the wrong place to set this. Okay, if we want to fix this very quick, because this only gets executed if we are in first person. So what we oh what we actually want what we want to do is to make sure that this one gets connected and this one gets connected instead, and then this one. So let's drag this something like here and then here. So that should fix it, I believe. So if we zoom in and zoom out, now we still have our head. And if we zoom out again, um, yep. And it looks okay when we are climbing also. Um, could look better because I still think it's the head movement is way too long, uh, far down. Um, we should only be able to look kind of like here, maybe. But that's uh, something we we can tweak on, and also the the first person when we are aiming is looking okay, um, and we have our shadow with the head. Kind of what's going on there. Hmm. Anyway, um, enough for this video. I will continue work uh, working and improving this in the next one. So uh, stay tuned and bye for now.